Right, so it's been quite a while since I've discussed an absolutely absurd leak, but today's one is just that because we have reports saying that number one, Apple's working on a 17 inch OLED MacBook Pro in 2022. So this is gonna be the one that launches right after the M1X models we're seeing later this year. But number two, mini LED and OLED are apparently gonna coexist in the MacBook lineup, which doesn't make a ton of sense to me, but either way, let's delve into this report. But first, make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. And with that being said, let's just suck in. Right, so the elect have an accuracy rating of 60%. So yeah, take the information with a massive grain of salt. But anyways, delving into the report, they say that Samsung Display is in the early stages of producing OLED displays for future MacBook Pro models. And Digitimes, by the way, has reported on this in the past, and they said that apparently this tech could debut on a 17-inch MacBook Pro in 2022. Right, so I do want to say that rumors regarding OLED and mini LED on the iPad and the Mac have been all over the place, and so yes, I do have a feeling this report might be wrong and let me delve into why. So number one is the fact that Apple rarely changes the display tech they use on the MacBook Pros. In fact, we've had LCD on the MacBook Pros forever now. They're only just changing it to mini LED with the M1X MacBook Pros. And so I kind of find it hard to believe that Apple's gonna be using mini LED for a year and then switch to OLED when they've been using LCD on the MacBooks for over a decade. Also number two, mini LED is better than OLED because while OLED might have slightly better contrast ratios, mini LED can get brighter than OLED, which is quite important for a laptop. It also has no burn-in, which again is a huge problem with OLED, especially on larger panels. And so it kind of would be a downgrade to go to OLED on the MacBook Pros right after using mini LED. So yeah, either way, I don't see how this makes any sense. Mini LED should stay on the MacBook Pros, but there is another thing they mentioned that's pretty interesting and does give me a theory on how OLED could actually fit in the MacBook lineup. So yes, I know that OLED and mini LED coexisting together might not make a ton of sense, but instead of thinking of OLED as some sort of replacement for mini LED for those high-end products, think of it as a replacement for the LCD panels we have on the budget max. And this could make sense because you might remember the iPad Air 5 is apparently getting OLED. It's going to be a rigid form that's going to be as cheap to build as LCD but with the benefits of OLED. But of course, because it is a rigid form of OLED, it won't be as good as mini LED. So it makes perfect sense to bring that to the iPad Air 5. But anyways, my point is, I could see Apple giving us that rigid form of OLED on the next generation MacBook Air because we've heard about mini LED coming to the MacBook Air 2, which I've always had my doubts over because why would Apple give their high-end mini LED tech on the entry-level MacBook? It makes no sense in my opinion. And if anything, it can make the MacBook Pros a harder sell because if the MacBook Pro and the Air have the same display, then most would just go for the MacBook Air because the performance of the M2 should be more than enough for most people. And so instead of mini LED, I can see Apple giving us the rigid form of OLED on the MacBook Air because that would be a major upgrade over the LCD panels we have today. It would bring amazing colors, those deep blacks, all the advantages of OLED, but it won't be as bright and color accurate as the mini LED panels on the MacBook Pros and so Apple can upsell you to the MacBook Pro with those upgrades. That's when I can see mini LED and OLED coexisting together in the range. And yes, I know some of you guys might say that isn't it cheaper for Apple to use mini LED across the range? Well, actually, I don't think so because number one, there is a mini LED shortage and Apple should be prioritizing on mini LED production for the MacBook Pros instead. But number two, this rigid form of OLED is as cheap as LCD, whereas mini LED is more expensive. We saw that with the 12.9 inch iPad Pro that went up in price. 
And so yes, I can see why Apple might give us OLED on the MacBook Air instead. Though I do want to say there has not been a single rumor to support this, and so I could be completely wrong. And well, it's more likely that I am, because you might remember that I did say initially that OLED has a higher risk of burning compared to mini LED, and so maybe that's why we never see OLED on the Mac, Though to give myself some credit, if Apple can give us a 10.9 inch OLED panel on the iPad F5, then surely it can't be that bad on a 13 inch display. And do remember that Apple has software procedures in place to prevent burn-in on the iPhone, and so they could easily do the same with the Mac in my opinion. But anyways, tell me your thoughts on this report in the comments below. Anyways, thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out the video in the icon above on details regarding the iPad 9. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya peeps.